What's up, guys, and welcome back to our Road to the Show. Hopefully, we can keep riding that high from our last episode, dude. First ever home run feels good, and uh, let's see what we can do. So, we've got an off day today. Let's take a look at what kind of options we have going on. First up, I'm going to see if we can go bench here in the training facility. Looks like we don't have any bench options. So, I mean, plate discipline and clutch wouldn't be a bad thing. Practice fields, to be honest, I feel like our fielding is kind of a secondary focus. Ooh, batting practice, contact and plate vision. That actually sounds pretty good. I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to do that. We're going to get some attribute gains on that. So uh, we've got our, our next game here. Going to be batting eighth in the lineup. Here we go. I did have a couple of things I wanted to touch on in terms of our character and stuff like that, our, our ball player, but... Uh, I guess we'll play the first game and worry about that afterwards. We so. Here we go, baby. Brand new series. 36 and 18, dude. Feeling pretty good. Our, our squad is, is getting it done. Obviously, I have been doing a little bit of simming, and uh, that is one thing I was going to mention probably isn't isn't the best idea. We'll, we'll talk about it after this game. But try to cut some corners, and I think it's stunting our growth a little bit. Oh, baby, here we go. My God, dude, look at the, the difference in our batting averages. On the road, we're batting 306. At home, we're batting 550. <laughs> that is, that's that's a pretty stark difference there. All right. Four seam change up slider, two seam. We're up one to nothing with the guy in first base. Here we go. First offering on its way. That's slow. Let's get after it, baby. Now, one thing, I, I did see a comment in, in yesterday's video. Um... Somebody said, remember back in MLB 20, you stopped guessing the high four seams, which, oh, I got it perfect right there. But yeah, we, we stopped guessing that. Come on, beat it out, beat it out, beat it out, beat it out. Yes, we'll take it. We'll take it, baby. Base hit. But um, I stopped guessing it, and I feel like we, we started batting better when we did that just because it made me focus more on the ball and, and you know it was kind of a, a placebo thing but also I, I think I think you get more control even if it is a high four seam when you control it yourself and you could potentially hit better balls so I'm, I'm thinking we might stop guessing the pitches uh, I'm thinking we kind of fell into an old uh, an old habit that, that wasn't the healthiest for us so here we go come on baby Mickey Moniak He's going to get walked. Bases are loaded. This is an exciting opportunity. Second in the lineup is going to be up to bat here. Nick Matan. He's 0 for 1 in the day with a pop out. At least he's putting the bat in the ball. And uh, let's see what he could do here. 1 2 count. Come on, baby. Oof. Struck him out. That's all right. He's got kind of a creepy smile. Tapping the bat in the helmet. Should have had that, dude. Should have had that. It's all right. You have more opportunities. Bottom of the fourth. Here we go. No guessing. On me. Oh my goodness! Just bombed that slider off the wall. I gotta go two. I gotta go two, baby. Let's go. We need those extra base hits. That's that's another thing we're gonna be talking about. So I've been I've been doing my research. I've been trying to really kind of understand what's going on. Obviously, a lot of stuff has changed in this game this year and um we're gonna touch on that when we get back back to the clubhouse here beautiful dude we'll take it that was a rocket felt good about that there's no way we're gonna be stealing third we don't have nearly enough speed to be able to do something like that so we're just gonna chill here at second base and hope that at some point somebody's gonna be able to hit us home mickey moniaku it looks like he's gonna be getting some sort of contact here we're running we're running. I'm taking off. Be quick. Be quick, Trev. Be quick. Keep going. I'm, I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. Don't catch that. Yes. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Mickey, I appreciate you, but he's a, he's a good dude. I feel like he actually comes up clutch sometimes. Actually, actually does his job. All right. We're two for two in the day. Bottom of the fifth with guys on the corners. It's a one point game. So uh, here we go. One run. Forcing curveball change up at a two seam. High energy, high confidence. Looking to keep this a one run game. That's low and it's inside the zone, but that gets the zone for a strike. I'm gonna lay off of it for now. We could have crushed that dude. That was a good one. Ah, oh, we're gonna chase a curveball that far outside instead of hitting the fastball right there in the middle, lower middle of the zone. Come on, Trev. It's alright. Sometimes my eyes deceive me. 
Bottom of the seventh, another opportunity to make up for it here. Got a, a four seam slider change up at a two seam. Looks like he favors that four seam. First pitch of the AB on its way. Thought about it. Thought about it. Laid off of it. Come on, baby. Because this is just a one run game. This doesn't strike me as a Oh! What's up with me hitting pitchers? I think he's gonna challenge him right here. And they're still able to get the out here at first. Couple not not in a row, but that's and now they'll hustle out there and attend to their pitcher, and that was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. But if there's one thing I know about this guy, he will not want to come out of this game. Dude, I would be terrified to be pitch against me with my, my history here. That, that's two, two down, boy. Feeling like dead shot out here or something from our Batman series. Just just straight taking people out. I got it. It's mine. It's it's yours. Just kidding. Okay. Well, um, at least, at least I got out there. Yeah, We're gonna end up taking a uh, taking an L there. That's all right. Shoot, I really wish we could have had a couple of those at bats back, but not a bad day. Most of us will have only heard of this prospect recently, right? If at all. But Al, he's doing well in the minors as a position player and as a pitcher. Oh yeah. And he's beginning to draw attention across the league. Do you think he carries that success forward and makes it to the show and thrives as a two-way player? I, I don't want to be the bearer of uh, negative news, but I, I just, I, I find it amazingly difficult. Just even, I was a pitcher and that was hard enough. So to think of this player as a two way guy that can hit and play every day uh, and then also pitch, very difficult. And the reason why I say it is that there's just so much work that goes in. Nobody wants to, to hear to from you, Al. At that level. Uh, but with that said, I don't want to discourage it. I think it's kind of a sink or swim kind of opportunity. And I think they're going to give him a chance to see if he can do it. I find it pretty hard to believe that you have to go back to Babe Ruth and I know Shohei Otani now, but we'll see about uh, Shohei as well. Um, it's just really hard. I, I, I'm skeptical on it, but I hope he can able, he's able to do it. You don't want to discourage him. I mean, that was just fair. killed his dreams. It's fine now. That was fair. Uh, at least he, he wasn't hating, but he just wasn't encouraging there. Okay, so here's the deal. We've been kind of messing up a little bit. So if I take a look at the, the calendar here, I have been simming. And my, my thing was, I, I was thinking, you know, we'll, we'll play some games and then like repeat series and, and repeat teams. We'll just sim through them and, and, you know, just kind of try to speed the season along and, and get us to the, you know, all-star game and the playoffs and, and hopefully get us promoted and eventually get us to the show even sooner. But um, when we sim, I, I, I think we might be getting closer to a promotion, but we are not increasing the stats of our player obviously and, and i feel like this is more important this year than than any other year so from now on i think i am gonna skip games but i'm gonna be playing them off screen i'm not gonna be simming so here's the deal if we go over to our player and this it's it's just it's so confusing because it's so much different than all the previous years but if we if we go into our loadout here you can take a look at your stats these are all of our stats and how they've you know improved with our, our development and our equipment and stuff over time you can also see your programs and your programs are kind of like another battle pass looking thing that we were taking a look at in, in diamond dynasty yesterday and you earn these i, I don't even what, what is I, i'm not sure what this is to be honest we've got 10 earned so far i have no clue what we use these for i think we redeem them somewhere but i've, I've got to figure out where but yeah, we, we, we want to progress through this player line, this slugger line here, to be able to unlock all these rewards. We're going to be able to get equipment packs and perk packs and stuff like that. And then once we get up to the top here, it resets, and then we go through the silver level, and then we go through the gold level, and then the diamond level. So we really want to focus on this, and to be able to get through this... We've got missions for both Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty. So for the show, we want plate appearances, extra base hits. That's pretty much it for the slugger setup here. So, I mean, that's that's easy. Just put the bat in the ball and, and really, you know, get it done. For Diamond Dynasty, we're going to want to get innings played, extra base hits. Uh, again, pretty much just play the game and get extra base hits. So that's, that's our main goal. I'm pretty sure what I'm simming, we're not getting any progress towards that. So even though we're, you know, deeper into the season, our character development is not that deep currently. So I just have to start playing a lot of games off screen. I've got to grind. I mean, I'm going to try to include as much as I can in the series, but it's just like, 
I don't want a hundred episodes of this series down here in the minors. I, I want to progress to the majors, and then from there we can play out every game. So I'm just gonna have to do some grinding. Now, speaking of all this stuff, I think we do have some some new abilities here from our pack opening that we did in our Diamond Dynasty episode. So you guys can see we're currently on our slugger. We do have power six and silver. So currently we've got plus four to power left and right and negative four to contact and speed. Now we're gonna have plus three and three and then negative two across there. That actually sounds a little bit better. So I'm gonna go with power four. Do we have anything else here that we might potentially want? I don't think so. So we're gonna leave power four there. And then if we switch over to our pitching setup, we don't have any uh, position in improvements here, but we do have break five which is gonna improve our pitching even more. I like it. All right, do we have anything else we wanna put there? Uh, no, okay, sweet. So yeah, man, basically I just, I, I can't cut corners with simming, you know what I mean? And it, it's, I, I think honestly, I probably shouldn't have been in previous years too. Like there were times where I would sim through games and stuff and it, it you know, it, it gets you up to the show quicker, but it, it doesn't prepare you for the show. You know, this this is really a development period for our, our ball players, so. We want to actually take advantage of that, and uh, it's, I mean, it's not going to be too bad. Obviously, it's a lot of games, but you can change the settings so you can make it so that there's no base running, and there's, um, you know, the, the fast pace of the game instead of a little bit more of an announcer style. So, like, I can sit down and knock out 10 games in, in you know, 15 minutes, something like that. So, we'll see how it goes. Here we go. Bottom of the first, two guys on, one guy out. We're looking for a score here, baby. Four seam slider, change up at a two seam. Here it comes. That's inside. Way inside with that one. All right. Easy take there. Let's go, baby. Visiting team as they take the field after here we go. The scoreless top half. Four and two over their last six games, including late, 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 late. Get down. Yeah, Get out. After Thank you. Who? First baseman could have caught that if he wanted to hustle. Kind of he didn't. Course. He didn't work hard enough. A, to play a little bit better today. Kind of turned the tide. A little bit low on the change up too early on it. We're fine. We're fine. We're gonna be okay. One, two count. He's got some good locations on those. Come on now, Trev. You can't be chasing that. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Woo. Right field is, uh, is, is hustling out here today. He's earning his spot. First baseman's going to be in trouble with the, the skip. That's inside. Easy to lay off that one. Two, two count. Come on, baby. Here we go. The pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He still got the Oh, well hit ball there. That's going to be enough to uh, at least get on base. Bases are loaded. It's a good play by the third baseman to knock that ball down. He definitely saved a run right there, but uh, hopefully Hey guys, that's not how we draw it up. Hopefully it's uh you want to stay it's still going to work out for us here. 2-2 two, two count. Please don't strike out. Also, please don't please don't hit a grounder that's going to lead us into a double play here. That's essentially the worst thing. Oh, let's go. That's what I'm talking about, dude. It's a fantastic throw to home. Homie's got a cannon. All right, we're just going to stay here. No big deal. Let's go, Josh Stephan. Josh Steven. Let's go, baby. I'm going to be honest. If you get that to the outfield, I'm turning the corner. I'm turning and burning. I'm going. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just run. Just, run. just keep going. Dude, look how close I was to the guy in front of me. Obviously, that was hitting the gap. Oh, it's a triple. Who, baby? A triple. That's what I'm talking about, fellas. Daps up all around. We got a great game happening today. Look at this. Four runs in the first inning. That was a shot. Love it. Perfectly. Perfectly split the gap between center and left right there. Bottom of the third. Got a guy on first base with no outs. His pitcher is... His confidence is, has waned. First pitch on the way. That's a four seam right down the middle. I, I wasn't ready. I wasn't focused. We're gonna be fine. The mound's been struggling to find the zone. I'm not mad at the guy taking a pitch. And then we're gonna swing at that slider, and we're way too early. Okay. All right, Trev. Okay. Down. Down 0-2, and you're gonna get a swinging bunt. Essentially, that that was a bad at bat. That first pitch was the best pitch we were gonna see there, and I, I just I wasn't ready for it. Didn't want to force anything. Power swing to advance a runner or a contact swing to drive in a run? Ooh, do we want clutch and power or clutch and contact? I guess let's go for the power swing, dude. Here we go. 
This, this is probably not a good idea. We got a new pitcher, Andrew Lee, four seam curveball change up at a two seam. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. A little bit too high. And the two out threat won't. A little bit too high. Popped it up, unfortunately, but we did show some good power right there. All right, we'll take it. We will take it. That happens. At least we put the bat in the ball. All right. Bottom of the seventh, up five to nothing. Got a guy on first base with no outsider, two seam, and a four seam. And now the first pitch. And Trev, stop popping it up. My goodness, dude. You're just swinging at everything. You got to calm down. It's going to be fine. Here we go. Bottom of the eighth. Dude, it's an eight nothing ball game. This is outrageous. All right, let's, let's you know, not voice crack and put the, put the bat in the ball here, Trev. Four seam slider, curveball, and a sinker. First offering. It's early. Ball one Got some, some water here. The zone. Hey, this is one of those I just woke up. Dude, I'm addicted really to this game. I woke up, hopped on this game. My voice is, is feeling a little later, bit weak this morning. This gonna turn Got that <clears throat> morning voice. Here we go. Let's go, Trev. Two outs. Let's keep this, this game alive. Let's Come on, in. baby. Perfect. Perfect. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's go! My goodness! Keeping it alive, that's what I'm talking about. That's 10 nothing. We just 10 run ruled him. Just pack it up, boys. Time to go home. We earned this one. My goodness. Excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Multiple home runs in the same inning. That's that's hilarious, dude. All right, we'll take it. Beautiful shot. Beautiful win. Doesn't get better than that. This is such an interesting player. I've talked about him before. Now he's starting to make an impact at the double-A level, and people besides me are noticing. Carlos Pena is with me today, and Carlos, you had a big breakout at the double-A level. What was it like for you when people started taking notice of what you were doing at the plate in double A? Oh, it was awesome. It was uh, very exciting. Uh, however, I tell you, sometimes you try to live up uh, to the expectations and that is sure. an absolute mistake. Um, you still have to stay within your process and player within game. your approach. That's easier said than done. So what I would do was just to think smaller. So when I went up to the plate, instead of trying to hit that big home run, I would think about hitting a line drive right at the pitcher's knees. And that was it. I was <laughs> That's what I just do. trying That's... to hit that, the pitcher's knees. And that really helped me to stay focused. And home runs would come, even when I was just trying to hit a low line drive. So make sure you stay within your approach. That's actually really good advice. And, it, I mean, if we're talking about lining something directly at the pitcher's knees, we, we've attempted that twice in, in a couple of games. Oh boy, big big dog walking up to the uh, the plate here, feeling pretty good. My goodness, we're on a bit of a heater, man. I, I honestly, I think not guessing pitches has really helped us out just in this episode alone. So shout out to whoever commented that. I wish I remembered who it was. I could go back and find it. I, I know who you are. I appreciate you. Top of the first two two guys on, one guy out. Four seam change up slider and a twelve six curve. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Ooh. I don't like Guys, inside pitches. I, that's something I need to work on. Tonight. If you want me to be honest, I I, I, I just I don't even like swinging at him. Koda agrees. Yeah, Ooh, got him. That's good for an RBI. That's good for a double. Maybe two RBIs. Definitely not. We'll take it. Dude, we are on fire. I love it. I, honestly, I, I think so. I think it does give you more control when you don't guess the pitch. But I also feel like it made us it made us lazy. It just made me always want to guess high four seam, high four seam, high four seam. If it wasn't the high four seam, I was less likely to swing at it. And if it was the high four seam, I just sat back and power swung and, and it just it, it wasn't a good good setup. 3-0 count. Come on, baby. Got two guys in scoring position, but a walk the bases loaded wouldn't be a bad idea for them if they did it. Yeah. They're going to be looking to take a double play. Let's go, Nick Matan. Show up, bud. Don't strike out. Don't you dare. Don't you. Don't you dare. I appreciate that he was swinging at least. But come on, man. Nerlius Martinez. I like that name, Nerlius. Next, gnarliest, bro. He's got the gnarliest, gnarliest hit. I'm taking it off. I'm running. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. 
He caught him. Though. Is there to make the catch Unfortunate. That's all right. Still, good start to the game. We're liking what we see. Top of the second. Got a guy in scoring position. Here we go. Rushing change up slider. 12-6 curve. Getting a few steps off the second Goodbye. Goodbye. Go. Come on, man. Retreats to the track and he'll Thought that was it. Away, so a it's okay. Of it happens. As the side is Dude, getting way too hyped out here. All right. So it's a good ball game. Up by one. 15. One out. For two with a double on the ledger so far. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Close, and dude. I should have swung at that. I thought about swinging at it. That's Come on up. Consistent, but it's Come on up. That's that's the pitch we will, we like, Trev. There it is. That's going to find the middle. Just kidding. Didn't have nearly enough power on it, but we'll take a base hit. Dude, beautiful work. I, I feel like our consistency has shot Talk through the roof in this, this episode alone. Alright. 3-2 count. Something's happening. Your boy is, is flying. Flying. I thought about going to third, dude. I, I really thought about it, but he hesitated to see if we were going to try to go. So we'll, we'll take it. We're in scoring position here. Set our squad up for a, uh, a potential win. Nick Maton. Nick Maton. I got to get your name right at some point. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Come on, man. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> He flies out a lot, but I mean, at least he's trying. We know that, that eventually it's going to end up working out for him. All right, we're going to be looking to turn two here. It's a tie ball game in the bottom of the fifth. We got a, a game in our hands here, boys. Come on, baby. Pretty easy, easy play here. Beautiful. Got them both. There it is. We got your back pitcher, Damon. Appreciate you, dog. All right, top of the eighth. We're down by two. We're leading off here. Four seam slider and a change. Up. Oh shoot! I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to guess. That's inside. Ooh, nasty slider, dude. I definitely thought that was going to be way inside. This is why the manager pencils these guys in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality. Early on the change up, he got us. I thought that was going to be that four seam, dude. Thought it was going to be the four seam. Here we go. Late on the four seam. I was trying to wait for the paint, the change up there, the pain jump. <sighs> pain. Here comes the one two. Is on a line. There's a cracker. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Nice little back crack. Saying there's a cracker probably isn't the most PC hey, thing to say here in 2021. But, um, all right, we'll, we'll take it. Here we go. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm taking it off. I, I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. If he lines out to the infield, then I'll, I'll take the double play and I'll be sad about it. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to third. Dude, what? <laughs> what was that play? Let's go. We'll take it. Infield single and your boy advanced an extra 90 feet. Nick Maton up to bat. One and one in the count. Let's go, baby. He's getting us here. He's stranded me out here so many times this game. In this game, he's he's picking me up. Safe, safe, safe. What? Let me let me see the replay. Well, I think they set the runner there to set themselves up for a big inning, but it didn't quite work out that way. They still got a good you got you got glasses? He was safe. That was a good throw by the catcher, but he was no, he was safe. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me see that replay. I'll be the judge of this. Bro, there's no. He is so far safe. I mean, he's still not touching there. Technically, our guy wasn't even trying. He's got his hands hovering above the bag. If he actually put his hands out, he would have been safe. His fingers are above the bag, dude. Come on. Here, here's where. Right there is where he touches. He's got four digits above the back. Yeah, he he was safe. He's just a lazy base runner, I guess, or a weird glitch is, is more likely. Nick Maton. There's no way he strands me out here again.
He got him, and it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get him. He wanted it, but the he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't yeah, let it affect him, and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. Now the runner's on his way home, and a good fastball swung on in this. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. We lost this one. That always nice to get the. That was buttons.